It's me, Chris, and welcome back to the Doll Studio. I hope you guys have your phone ready. I hope you guys have a little notepad. I hope you guys have your Amazon account pulled up because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys so much information of how I personally take care of my American Girl dolls. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for hairstyling videos, but it felt wrong for me to go into hairstyles for anyone if you guys didn't even have the proper tools to be able to execute some of the hairstyles I'll be sharing with you guys. So I thought before we even go into the new year, I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that is in my American Girl Doll hair care kit. You don't need to be this crazy about it. I personally am just a psychopath when it comes to my American Girl Dolls. I've been doing this for so many years that I just definitely wanted to show you guys what I've accumulated over the years in my American Girl Doll hair care kit and the way that I take care of my American Girl Dolls. So let's get started. First and foremost, the biggest thing before I even touch my American Girl Dolls, this is something extremely OCD that I personally do. I know it sounds insane. I know it sounds crazy. Before I even pick up my American Girl dolls, I will squirt a little bit of hand sanitizer on my hands. I go through the subway system. I eat. I live and breathe as a human being. And with that, I, after COVID, just became very cautious of all the things that I was touching with my hands. I'd wash my hands, but even then, just getting the sense of making sure that all those oils are off my hand, I just felt more comfortable touching my American Girl dolls and making sure that everything Thing that goes into their hair is either just water or water. So I do that. I have this huge thing of hand sanitizer. I have it there on my island for my kitchen. And I literally, before even picking up my American Girl dolls, will just go, aha, uh -huh, there we go. And then I am ready to touch my American Girl dolls, their hair, everything to make sure that my hands are very, very clean. So that is something that I do. Either I use this one or I use a little, little, little one. Very convenient. I need to actually fill this up with this. But I use hand sanitizer before touching my American Girl dolls hair to make sure that everything is off of my hands before I even do anything with their hair. So this is my American Girl Doll hair care kit. It is huge. It is where I store everything that you're about to see right now. It is basically like a makeup case and it has all of these little sections, a lot of storage. There's a bunch of mumbo jumbo decorative stuff that I don't want to share in this video because it's just all decorative, little like hair clips and stuff like that. But it's huge. You can go to your local five below. You can get a caboodles. I have a caboodles for all my curl stuff. So you can go and get one of those. You do not need something massive. You can literally have, depending on what you accumulate, something big like this, something medium like this, or for the longest time with my American Girl dolls, I used to have something just as simple as this to keep all of my American Girl doll hair care stuff inside of it. So yes. That is what I use. Inside my American Gold Oil hair care kit, the first thing that I have is a wire wig brush of whatever brand you want to. On Amazon, all you have to do is search up the word wire wig brush for wigs or whatever, and it will give you a bunch of different options. For me, if you don't want to go the Amazon route, I always and forever have used the Our Generation brush. I don't know what the American Girl doll hair brush is in regards to quality right now, but I remember growing up, they would always always, always break on me. And the little part in here would always rip out because I would be using water and I would be, you know, using the American Girl Doll hairbrush the way you're supposed to. But for some reason, the inside of it would always come out. And with the Our Generation brushes, I'm pretty sure it's like six or seven dollars and it comes with a little spray bottle. Go buy it. They're very convenient, very easy. Like most stores don't sell wire wig brushes. They sell the plastic ones. And for the longest time, you guys, I had a plastic one for my American Girl Dolls. But better to be safe and sorry if there is some sort of technology in regards to the different types of bristles you have for your brushes. So I always recommend a wire wig brush. It's just meant for wigs. Use it. And the Our Generation brush, I always, always highly recommend it. If you go the Amazon route, you can look for the Scoutmaster SC126. This is the one that I purchased. It's a little bit bigger. If you're, a, you know, an adult, it's a lot easier for you to grab. It covers more hair all at once. I recommend it. It definitely, definitely does the exact same thing that this thing does. So pick your poison. Those are the two that I use. So now that we cover brushes, let's talk about toothbrushes. This is the toothbrush I use. This is what it looks like. It is extremely hard. All the bristles are very, 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 very hard. Now you want to use either a smoker toothbrush or a hard bristle toothbrush. I see way too many people using soft bristles. If it bends too easily, it is way too soft. You're doing nothing with your American Girl Dolls hair. I've seen way too many people online on YouTube doing hairstyles for their American Girl Dolls and they'll pull out. Hold on. I have to show you guys because this is something that actually irks my soul. Hold on. 
All right, now that we're back, I actually have some visuals for you guys. I see way too many people on YouTube, on TikTok, using these kinds of brushes. This is gonna do nothing for your American Girl Dolls hair. It is so flimsy and so not dense. It needs to be like really packed in there. It should feel really, really hard. But these little thin toothbrushes, I see like nothing happening with your flyaways or anything. So I would not recommend these. These with the little rubbers inside, do not use those because the little rubbers could actually depending on how hard you're like brushing your flyaways on your American Girl Dolls hair could actually really pull at them and could actually rip out hair because the rubber is grabbing onto the hair. It's meant for your teeth. So obviously it's not meant for hair, but I wouldn't recommend the ones with the little rubber. You want something that feels, this sounds gross, but like a toilet brush, like it should have that kind of feeling to it. This one I've had for the longest time and I actually bought like a box of 24 of them. They're no longer sold in the US because I don't don't know what they were were deemed but I think that they were too hard for people's teeth so they stopped making them so I literally have like a box of 24 and I have been gift giving them to all of my American Gold Law collector friends because this brush is a godsend I love this little toothbrush it is the one that you will always see me use but I use this nonstop. I disinfect it. I disinfect all my brushes with Barbicide. If you know what that is, all you have to do is literally search up how to disinfect hair brushes for a salon. And then you will literally find out how to use Barbicide. I'm not gonna show that right now because that's a chemical and you don't wanna play around with that. But I go full salon style with it and I will dip my brushes into Barbicide to make sure that there is nothing but cleanliness when it comes to my American Girl Dolls hair. So those are the three things that I use. My secret weapon that I wanna share with you guys that I have not disclosed anywhere, but I did for like a 2.3 milliseconds in my hair styling for Corinne video showcase was the dry bar flat mate brush. This is a brush that I use. It is very, very equivalent to the toothbrush that I use. Dry bar actually makes a little mini version of this. This is a really expensive brush and it's basically like a Mason Pearson brush. If you guys know what that is, if you're in the know, but essentially it has bristles that are kind of like this. And then it has like plastic bristles. It's a great brush. Rush. If you don't have this, I highly recommend getting this. It's very easy. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but depending on how seriously you take your American Girl Dolls hair, I highly recommend getting one of these. This will literally just like make everything so much easier for you. This is designated specifically for my American Girl Dolls hair. So I only use this on their hair. It works wonders for me and it keeps their hair beautiful, shiny, pretty, and just like they came out of the box when I first get them. So it's pricey, but I I use it. I love it religiously. If I do not have this handy, I use this and it works beautifully, especially for dolls with straight hair. I love this. The next thing you're going to want to need for sure is a spray bottle. Any spray bottle works. Do not put conditioner in it. Do not put any sort of hair care, anything in the water that you use for your spray bottle. I cannot repeat that enough. I see way too many people, way too many collectors being like, oh, I put a little bit of like leave-in conditioner. No. No, 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 no. Your dolls, okay, are sitting for a long period of time. And if you're not washing out that leave-in conditioner, all you're doing is making your doll's hair extremely like mildewy and giving it that coat that downy dunks do. And you just do not want to do that. So water, 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 water. Change it out every two weeks. You don't want, you know, anything to be going into your American Girl doll's hair that does not need to be going into it. This is the spray bottle that I use. Pretty self-explanatory. It's just a spray bottle. And then whenever I go in with my American Girl dolls, I would just spray like one spritz of water. You do not need to drench it. My camera. <laughs> You do not need to drench your American Girl Dolls hair with it, just a light mist, especially when they're brand new. If they are more on the DIY side, you definitely wanna go in more with the water. And then if last resort, you need to wash your American Girl Dolls hair and that's okay. But for the most part, water, just water, nothing else, no other chemicals, no other hair care, nothing. That's just me and the way that I live my life. Please do not put more than just water in your American Girl Dolls hair. Next thing you're gonna wanna want is a little salon cape. I think our generation still makes the hair care kits that have little capes in them. This is a custom one that my sister made for me. It's waterproof, so no matter what they're wearing underneath, it will not affect their clothes. If you don't have one of these, just use like a hand towel. All you have to do is wrap it around your American Girl doll's clothes, and then she's all good to go. This one has snaps in the back. Thank you to my sister 
for making this for me. It's very convenient and it makes sure that my American Girl doll's clothes is protected, her cloth body is protected, everything is protected so that, that way only her hair is getting the attention. For styling purposes, what I like to do using the Kavi I have right here, whenever I do my American Girl doll's hair, I either just place them in between my legs like this, I place them sideways like this, and then I will turn their head and do their hair like that. Obviously, like I'm sitting crisscross applesauce right now, but whenever you're sitting crisscross applesauce, I find it just easier to have them sitting this way and then have their head turned. Don't make it more difficult. If you're like pressing your leg like this on their sides, you're like hurting their arms. So I like to just make it convenient if you have like your legs stretched out in front of you. It's just easier to have them sitting like this because then your legs can go on either side like that. And then you just turn their head and make it more convenient. And it's also just more comfortable and you're not like pulling at their arms to do something it doesn't want to do. I don't recommend having them sitting face forward. I recommend them being on their side and having one leg here, one leg over here, and then just turning their head. It's just easier. It's simpler. Just do it that way. <laughs> if not, if you do not want to go that route, I do have this American Girl treat seat. This literally hooks onto any little thing. This is my coffee table and it actually like fully can slide in and just hang there. For sectioning my American Girl Dolls hair, I recommend claw clips like this. Be careful with this. You don't want this to go too far into your American Girl Dolls wig cap. You can kind of feel it when it starts to claw at their wig cap. Don't do it. Be very cautious when using these. I recommend these. But the ones that I truly love, this is a brand new pack that I just bought for like $2, are these because you're just sliding it into the hair and then it just claws like that as opposed to having these where you have a slight possibility of maybe pulling at some of the lining in their wig cap. So I just would be very careful with these if you end up using these. If not, I recommend these law clips. So just search that up on Amazon. They're just little alligator clips, I'm pretty sure is what they're called. And I recommend these as opposed to the claw clips like this. So that's for sectioning your American Girl Doll's hair. Also for sectioning your American Girl Doll's hair. This is a rat tail comb. This is a foiling comb. Look at the difference. This one has like a metal piece at the end. It is very much the same size all throughout. This is a rat tail comb. It kind of comes at like a triangle. There's a thickness to it. Buy this, don't buy this. I saw way too many people when I was showing how to do curls for your American Girl doll using something along the lines of this. This is too thin and on top of that, this will give a better grip on the hair than this will. You wanna make sure that you're not using too fine a comb on it or else it's gonna pull out their hair. You want something with a little bit more space so that, that way their hair isn't getting snagged out too close together, if that makes sense. So I like to use this one, get a rat tail comb. They're only like 50 cents, I'm pretty sure, at your local beauty supply store. Rat tail comb, not a foiling comb. Also a foiling comb has these grits up here and that could rub on your American Girl doll's hair and cause some friction that you just don't want to have happen. A lot of information and we still have a lot to go through. Okay. These are from the container store. The little containers that I have here, they are called lockups. They are little containers, they're clear, and they're just a great way to organize all of my hair care stuff. So they just unsnap like this, and the top of them has little divots that you can connect them to one another. It's just very easy. I'm very OCD about certain things, and this is one of those things. It's just a great way to organize your American Girl doll hair care stuff. But here I have clips, little butterfly clips for my American Girl doll. Up in one of the bigger ones, I have clear rubber band elastics. You always wanna use elastics for your American Girl doll, and I just recommend them. This is what we used to use at the American Girl hair salon. So I just have like a big one of clear elastics. I have one full of colorful hair elastics, just a bunch of those little ones running around. And then I have bigger rubber band elastics with color on them just to have them. But notice how they all snap together. They're called lockups and you can find them at the container store. They're really, really inexpensive. So if you end up accumulating elastics, it's very easy to just organize them this way as opposed to having like these packs running around. I also have bobby pins here. They're the little mini bobby pins and I usually use the uh, U ones. I don't use the ones that are straight, if that makes sense. They're essentially U-shaped like that. I don't know if you can see that, but they're shaped like that as opposed to regular bobby pins. And I got little mini ones. You can definitely buy these on Amazon. It's just easier to use with like their smaller heads. So mini bobby pins or mini hair pins, I think they're called. These are also just decorative. I use them so that way I have them. But notice how they just like stack together. 
and then they're all together. Very convenient. <laughs> Usually whenever I get rubber bands, this is also just a great way to store them. If they come in plastic, just leave them in it. This is $1.49. I got this from my local beauty supply store and these are just black hair elastics. Pretty simple. I don't recommend hair elastics or like anything to tie up your doll's hair that has metal on it. Cotton ones are fine, but for the most part, I just use rubber bands. They're just easier, they're simpler to use, and they are the least damaging to your American Girl doll's hair. Usually you can find them in like a little pack like this. These are really, really tiny ones, but you could also get like the big, big, big ones from like, I think in Target they sell them. They come in like a little clear pouch, but you definitely, definitely wanna go with the rubber bands. You don't wanna go with anything too metally. So those are those. I like to keep these little things. I think they're called like topsy tails or something. These things, if you don't have a rat tail comb, you can also just buy these. And this is great if I am pulling hair through other sections of hair. This is what they use for basket weaves for hairstyling, like that hairstyle that American Girl used to have, basket weaves. This was the tool that they used to use. So I definitely will be showcasing that at one point, how to do that. But it's just good to have these. I've always had them and they do help to just pull hair through hair that's already been sectioned, if that makes sense. Hair nets. These are the hair nets I use. They are the, I can't read the name of them. These are the Bell hair nets and I buy them from Target. And little known secret, whenever you get an American Girl doll, keep the hair net that they come with. Because those hair nets, when you're doing hairstyles, specifically buns of any sort, they are great to use whenever you're doing hairstyling for your American Girl doll. And you can still use them. They're still clean and all that. So I always keep all of the, hair nets that I get from my American Girl dolls when I'm opening them up brand new into a little bag like this and they're just together so definitely use that. These are other rubber bands that I have. They're just bigger if you want to, you know, keep their hair in a ponytail. If I'm doing just a simple ponytail or like a high ponytail, these regular like hair ties are perfectly fine. The cloth ones are fine. The parts that don't have the metal on them are fine. But once they have metal, it becomes a no-go. Do not do it. You will rip out your American Girl Dolls hair. And that is no bueno. When taking out rubber bands, these are little, little, little nail shears. They're really, really small. I use these because it's very, very easy to make sure that whenever you're taking out hairstyles from your American Girl Dolls hair. These are small enough to do the job. You're not pulling, you're not doing anything. They're small, they fit in your hair care kit. I find these really, really easy to use. So I always have them in my bag. I'm pretty sure they're nail scissors. You can find those, that's great. <laughs> For buns, if I'm doing like a ballet bun, you can buy one of these hair donuts and you just pull the hair through a ponytail and then you like do the whole thing. I have like one or two of these. I try to get the smallest size available. This was the smallest size that they had at my beauty supply store, but it does create a really pretty bun. So if you guys ever wanna see like a ballet bun on your American Girl Dolls hair, I will link Sarah's video down below because that's the one that I always watched when she was doing a ballet bun on her Mia doll. Ballet buns, if you wanna create a really nice, pretty, full bun on your American Girl Dolls hair, this is definitely something you wanna use. Hair donut. For Yvette, and specifically this baby girl over here that I have not showcased me opening her up. I did get this doll. I forgot where her number is. I'm so sorry, I'm so bad with the numbers. For this doll and Yvette specifically, you're gonna wanna get a hair pick like this. I'm pretty sure in my Yvette video, I did link like an Amazon link to the specific ones that I purchased, but you're just gonna want a hair care pick because that is really the easiest way to take care of this doll's hair and also Yvette's hair because their hair, you kind of can't go with an American Girl doll hairbrush and go crazy with it. You need to use something very specific like that to make sure that their hair is nice and pretty and pristine. Curling your American Girl doll's hair. This green caboodles is specifically designated for all of my hair curlers. I'm gonna try to open this up without making a mess. So you're gonna wanna get a box of perming paper. That's all you have to search up. And it comes with like a box of like a thousand, I'm pretty sure. And these they're, they're these little papers. I will do a video on how to curl your American Girl Dolls hair one day. But then you also just wanna buy perm rods. These are the perm rods that I use. I do not use foam rollers. I do not believe that they work in the way that I think a lot of people think that they work. But these are just easier to use. They're better for your American Girl Dolls hair. And for me, they have been a tried and true for forever. These curlers all range in different sizes depending on what I'm going for. If I'm going for Nikki curls, I'll use something like the orange one that has a diameter like this. If I'm going for something bigger like Tenny, I will use 
the white one that has a thicker width to it. And if I want something super, super duper curly or just want it to stay really, really curly, I'll use the yellow ones and that is what it looks like. Very, very thin, but you wanna use their perming papers with this. I don't know where my box went, but I have like a whole thing full of hair curlers because I am very crazy. And whenever I get an American Girl doll, I usually curl their hair. I've been very lazy about it recently. I do that to reshape the way that the American Girl doll's hair is going. All American Girl dolls, dolls with wavy hair, dolls with curly hair, all their curls are going to the left. I like all the hair to be going away from the face. So I'll restructure the way that the curl pattern is in their hair. So that way all the hair is going away from their face as opposed to going to the left. If you look at your American Girl dolls, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now this bag specifically is for all my dolls that are DIY. When I go to Girl Again and I help volunteer and fixing up those DIY dolls, I use this bag that has all of the stuff specifically for those DIY dolls. And what I mean by DIY is like the dolls that have been previously loved. I don't know what's in their hair whenever I go in there. So I have a separate little kit for those dolls because I don't know where they're coming from. I have my own little, it's a little dirty. I have my own toothbrush for those dolls because again, I do not want to cross contaminate dolls that are brand new versus dolls that have been used. This is the wire wig brush that I use for those. I, as a rule of thumb, just would never cross contaminate used dolls with brand new dolls. You definitely want to make sure that if you're getting a brand new American Girl doll and then you have a doll that's been previously used that you wash that doll's hair and and then you want to make sure that if you are going to use the same hairbrush to definitely clean that hairbrush between the two dolls because these dolls are straight from the factory I know what's in their hair whereas dolls that are used you know you never know what their story is so I don't like to play games like that and I just have a specific brush designated for that the rule of the game is definitely no cross-contamination when it comes to American Girl dolls. And I don't really have a lot of used dolls anymore, but whenever I'm doing dolls that are getting fixed up, they have their own brush because this stuff is for my dolls that are brand new and on display, whereas this stuff is for the dolls that are used that I help to fix up. Here it is, the Gulf wiring brush. I have this in my DIY kit because I only ever use this. Only ever use this when I'm fixing doll parts because sometimes dolls that are used will come in with their hair part being somewhere that it doesn't even exist and I will have to basically force the part to split the way that it originally was created to be. And nothing Nothing is stronger than this metal part over here. This is extremely dangerous. I do not know why American Girl recommends this in the hair salon, but in the hair salon, they do have this and I can see why now. And it's because of the fact that for DIY dolls, used dolls, it's a great way to force that part back into the doll's hair. But I would never in a million years use this on a brand new American Girl doll. This is too harsh compared to the toothbrush. This is way too hard. Like, and it also hurts. Like sticking it into my finger right there, it hurts. Whereas this is hard, but it's not as in your skin the way that the other one is. In regards to straighteners and steamers, steamers are pretty self-explanatory. I have always used just like a little handheld steamer when it comes to steaming my American Girl doll's hair. I never would recommend a hot water dunk. I do not know why those are becoming more popular. I think that they are extremely A, dangerous, and B, they dry out your American Girl doll's hair faster. And it also really melts the plastic because that heat is causing that hair to stretch out. But that's my little two cents on that. I will do an entire video on things not to do to your American Girl doll, and that is definitely top on the list. I don't recommend downy dunks. I've said it a million times before, downy dunks are atrocious and all they do is create a thick layer of downy over your American Girl doll's hair and over time that will become mildewy and gross. I would never recommend that to you guys. Straighteners. Always use a ceramic one. I will not be sharing the straightener that I use because it is discontinued and every time that they magically pop up on eBay or Mercari, I have to scramble to purchase it brand new because since they're no longer made, it is very hard to get them replaced if they break. And mine has broken, I think it only has like a lifespan of like a year and a half, but always, always, always use a ceramic straightener, never use a metal straightener. And then on top of that, you never want to grab a straightener that doesn't tell you the heat settings. American Girl doll hair, I'm pretty sure can only go up to like 150. And when you do get a straightener, the best way to test out if it'll be good on your American Girl doll's hair is by grabbing like a used Barbie or a Bratz doll. And if it melts that hair, it will melt your American Girl doll's hair. So that's just a train of thought for those things. I feel like that's 
feel like that's it. I feel like we went over a lot. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. I hope you guys gained a lot of information. I basically just lectured you all on American Girl doll hair tools that I have and things that I do, but I'm very excited to share with you guys some hairstyles this year. And yeah, all right, you guys, you guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys subscribe to this account, comment down below, and let me know what you guys use for your American Girl Dolls hair. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.